Good afternoon from Steinwasen Park in Germany where we're here for our first ever visit. I don't have a clue what to expect. <laughs> so if you haven't already, check out yesterday's vlog from the absolutely awesome Hasenhorn coaster. Um, that's only about 15 minutes away from here. And we thought, well, we'll come and check this place out. It's open. They've also got an Alpine coaster here. Along with that, there is a Mac Rides powered coaster here somewhere. We can't see it from the entrance. And along with that, there's also a Rapids, I believe. Oh. God, rapid. <laughs> I can't see it anywhere. I don't have a clue. Like, um, but yeah, the location of this park, we are in the middle of nowhere, um, in the forest, up in the mountains here in Germany. And apparently there's some mountain goats here as well. Oh, I hope so. Really hope so. So come and join us. Don't have a clue what to expect. We've not booked a ticket online or anything for this one. We're just rocking up onto the car park, free parking. We'll head over to the entrance. We'll see how much it costs and what we're going to experience. Don't have a clue. We could be here half an hour. We could be here a few hours. Who knows? Come and join us. It's Steinwasen Park. Don't you just love these random theme park vlogs where we don't have a clue what's going to happen? Here's the entrance just over here though. Looks like maybe a cafe and a gift shop or something in there. Not too sure. And yeah, here's a look over towards the park on the hillside. I don't have a clue, but yeah, you've got a massive bridge up there. It looks like I'm a celebrity get me out of here. Here we go, here's a map of the park for us. So yeah, it's not a massive place. Ah, go. Oh, there's the rapids, I think. Num number four. There we go. River Splash. There we go. That's it. But yeah, apparently there's a, an indoor coaster here somewhere. I don't have a clue. Maybe it must be in this building, is it? I really don't know. There, oh, we can go over the bridge as well. Number five just there. Yeah, and there's the Alpine coaster. So this one's just over 3,000 feet. The one we went on this morning that was yesterday's vlog, that was 8,000. So yeah, I don't expect it to be as good. However, I'm looking forward to riding it. You've also got a uh, chairlift attraction here as well. And uh, yeah, welcome to Steinwasen Park. There's the mascot up there. You're going to get to see Goat Charlotte. Lovely. Love a bit of goat action. Goat Park yeah, Worldwide. Sure. Yeah, not too sure. Oh, here we go. We're going to go up this way. Oh, I'm going to get right I think normally you go up the, uh, up the steps there. But around here to Steinwasen Park. Small little flat ride up here. Oh, there's the Alpine. Just see it over there in the distance. Funny ride. But yeah, it's not a massive place. Probably here a couple of hours maximum, I'd say. Which works out fine for us because we've got a long drive ahead. We're going to be making our way down to our next destination. We're actually going to be staying at the Villages of Nature um, down at Disneyland Paris. And we're looking forward to that, so aren't exciting. we? Yeah, it's the Centre Parks and Disney project combined. So yeah, we're really looking forward to that. That'll be the next vlog coming up. Here we go then. So we made our way into the uh, entrance building just here, back on the turnstiles. Here we go. Lights gone green. And we're inside the park. <laughs> Looks very... Uh, Random this place, it's all closed up down here. Charlotte's looking inside the closed gift shop window. So in terms of prices, Charlotte, how much we paid? It's 24 euros. Yeah, 24 euros for an adult. And 20 euros for a child. So yeah, it's quite expensive actually, isn't it? It's quite expensive, yeah it is. I think there is a lot here to see though. More than I thought there was going to be. Not inside this entrance area though. <laughs> As you can see, it looks uh, abandoned around here, doesn't it? it? Looks all closed off. But yeah, it is a family owned attraction. It's actually owned by the same family that owned the Hasenhorn coaster um, that we went on. Don't have a clue where we're going. I feel like I'm in a hospital or something, walking around here. Is this a food court down here, is it? I love it though, we, don't, we just don't have a clue. Like, we were passing by, we are in the area, we thought we may as well come and check it out. Look at that raccoon with his hands out. That's there you go. nice, isn't it? That's what we're going to see. Oh, we've got some random figure inside there. Who's that? Oh, hello. You are right there? But yeah, like, it's worth coming to see. It's one of them parts that, you know, you probably only come to once or once every few years, maybe. Yeah, I'm not too sure who that is. There we go. Oh, we've got some nice bits of theming around in here. There's a water wheel. Maybe the indoor power coaster is in here somewhere. It's quite a big building. Not seen it anywhere. Oh, got some bumper boats there. Play area as well. Oh, what are you doing there? You right there, horse? <laughs> and that's the mascot there. Look, look, see, I think he's called. Oh, well, look at the awesome view from here. Spectacular. Well, I'm a bit disappointed. I was paid 24 euros. And one of the main attractions is closed. There was no mention of that when we came in. You've got the rapids over there. Or well, at least we can assume it's closed. I mean, looks it looks abandoned. There's no water running around. It's a vertical lift hill. Rapids. Oh, you got that lift there. Come down the ramp just there and into the bottom. But yeah, I don't think uh, that's open, do you? The window looks open there at the bottom. I don't know. Well, maybe they'll start it up when you go over to it. Look at the water shore. Yeah. <laughs> There was no mention of it being closed though when we came in. But I'll tell you what, the views are stunning from here. 
look at this, we've got this nice little chair lift attraction. So we'll go on there, ski lift up to the top. And yeah, I thought the ski lift was maybe for the coaster, like the Hasenhorn, but it's not. We actually go up a lift hill on the Alpine coaster. Um, and then yeah, you've also got that as a separate attraction. So yeah, at least we know that both of those are on. Yeah, I don't have a clue where this power coaster is. It said it's an indoor power coaster. Maybe it's like underneath where we are now or something. I really do not have a clue. That's the beauty of coming somewhere for the first time. Looks his Kinderland just there, the kids play area. Nice Scandinavian style buildings. What's this in here? There we go. Oh, you're right there. Is that little red riding hood? You're right. Oh, got the wolf just there. Here you go. That's Charlotte snoring, that is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like a little theatre. Yeah, it's a tiny little theatre. Oh, look at the seats there, Kira, aren't they? Little flowers. Oh, testing the seats, are you? So we just stepped out of the building. It's in a lovely location, this park. Got this uh, guy just over here, you're right there. <laughs> can hear some water. Is that a waterfall, is it, down here? I can hear. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's nice. Nice waterfall. Look at all them deers. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's lovely. What a really nice location. I'll tell you what, the bridge looks good. There's some people up there on the bridge. I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. And here we go. I've got the chest mounted GoPro, so hopefully we can uh, take you on. Here we go. Let's, uh, let's go and ride. Here we go then. All mounted up with the GoPro. Yeah, manufactured by Vigand again just here. Let me just push forwards again when we leave the lift hill at the top when you push back then you get the brake in doesn't make a difference on the lift hills here we go at least this is open hopefully the indoor coaster is as well can't find it but it's definitely underneath that building we've just had a look on the map so yeah hopefully that's open shame about the rapids but at least we're going to get the two coasters or fingers crossed we'll get the other one anyway should do no reason why it should be closed saying that there isn't for the rapids really but yeah, going up the lift hill. We haven't already checked out the Hasenhorn coaster. We had a really good time experiencing that this morning. It was very good. Gonna get some nice views from on this chairlift as well. It's one of them that just takes you up and then brings you back down again. This is a nice little walkway around here. Quite a hilly walkway. We'll see some goats, hopefully. Some mountain goats. Oh, look at this. Very picturesque. Yeah, all the walkways around here. It's a big lift hill taking us up. Massive lift hill. I do love coming to see new places though for the first time. It's always great. Is this like a ski lift just on this side here as well? Maybe for skiing over winter? When we was driving just only about five minutes away from here, um, we saw a ski lift. Obviously not in use at the moment, waiting for the snow in a few months time. Yeah, I imagine that's really nice coming out here skiing. Absolutely stunning, I'd imagine. But yeah, we're climbing up pretty high, so I think we're going to be in for quite a good ride on this, actually. But yeah, hopefully you can actually leave the chairlift up here, and then you can get some, uh, have some nice walks around the top. Oh, there's a deer. Oh, I see him just there. Oh, there's a couple of them. Oh, look at them. Proper animal park. Nearly at the top now, folks. Nearly there. <laughs> Can you imagine if the Hasenhorn coaster had a lift hill, though? Like, it'd be on it for absolutely ages. Yeah, that looks like a proper ski lift, that one. Or is it bringing bikes up or something like that? I don't know. Possibly. Oh, it's walking underneath the coaster there. Mm. Hello. <laughs> there we go. Right, we made it to the top. So this is where I need to push forwards now. We don't want any braking. I haven't seen much of the layout, I'll be honest, while I've been coming round. Oh, there's a bobsleigh there as well. Oh, here we go, like a toboggan ride next door. Here we go. And leaving the lifts. Bumpy. Whee. Woo! Oh, still some nice scenery from on this one though. Yeah, 3,000 feet this one. Way! Woo! Oh, no auto braking at all on this so far. Oh! Really good. It's quite a long layout actually from what I can see down here. Woo! 
Yeah, the toboggan run looks good next door. I don't know if that's on or not. Whee! Woo! -hoo -hoo. Bit of air time there. Oh, look at the deers. Oh, wow. Woo! All the waterfall coming down the mountain. Oh, yes. Woo! There is literally no auto braking on this one at all. Woo! There's the big suspension bridge. Woo! Here we are coming around to the end. End of the ride. Oh, lovely. Slow it down. Oh, wax in the face. Lovely. Oh, that was good. Quite felt quite short, obviously, compared to the one we've just done. But it was great. There was no auto braking on that at all, which was brilliant. Yeah, really enjoyed that. Charlotte's not too far behind me, I'm sure. And here comes Charlotte. She's coming in. Hey, whacked in the face. <laughs> here she comes. Oh, did you see some goats, did you? I didn't see any goats. Oh, there's loads of animals, though. Oh, how good was that, though? Yeah, I saw that. I don't know if it's on or not, but toboggan. yeah, toboggan run. To be honest, though, that was good. There was no auto braking at all on there. I was just looking at the animal. Oh, like proper animal watch. Oh, Charlotte's going around again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was great. But yeah, that's the good thing with here. We might have paid that much, but you can go around and have another go with it being so quiet as well. It's all right. Yeah, that was decent. That was. But yeah, that was really good fun. Nice layout on there as well, and really speedy. I very much enjoyed that. I was on animal watch on that one. What did you see then, Charlotte? I saw some deers. I saw some mountain goats. <laughs> yeah, I did see some deers. Oh dear. Um, but yeah, I didn't see any goats on there. There right. were only two that I saw. <laughs> we're trying to find this power coaster now, aren't we, Charlotte? We've got the map on the go here. Right. And we're trying to find it. I think it's down here. I'm pretty sure it's in the building where we came in, but like on the ground level. But we're coming down this ramp now. Um, and then, yeah, we think you get to it somewhere down here, but it's a Mac power coaster. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to actually getting on this. Don't know, like, it's indoors, so it's gonna Let's have- Let's be open. Well, I, I really hope so. I'll be gutted if the rapids and that's closed, especially with no advertisement. Here's the rapids down here anyway. So that's we'll, uh, yeah, this is definitely closed, unfortunately. Well, the audio is on down here at the rapids, but there's no water flowing down the trough or anything. Well, I really don't know. Well, then the, the queue line's open. It's got the distancing markers in place. Between 11 and 12. And 12. Oh, hey, oh, it opens after that then, does it? What does the sign mean? We need to translate the sign. Between 12. Ah, oh, here we go. Well, that's a, oh, maybe it's going to be open then. Oh, fingers crossed we're going to get it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I think we might be getting it. We're all right. I mean, the music's on and everything. I've never seen one like this before. So yeah, you go straight forward into that vertical lift and then down the drop. Yeah, we'll have to translate that and have a look. Come on, Charlotte, get running up the hill. Keep on going. Oh, I'm pleased about the rapids though. It definitely looks like it's gonna open. As a bit of translating, sounds like it's just shut for this period of time now and it's gonna open at one o'clock. Look at the waterfall. Charlotte is happy about that. I tell you what though, look at this scenery around here. Like, the rapids itself might not look the prettiest, but look at all the mountains around the side. Absolutely gorgeous, it really is. We're on the trek to find this now. Oh, this is the bottom of the uh, toboggan, is it just here? Yeah. I don't know if it's on or not, the toboggan. I don't know, it's running at the bottom. Yeah, I mean, tell, maybe it is, there's just nobody on. Oh, and that lift, what I saw, what I was talking about on the coaster, that's to take the toboggans back up. Ah, right, I see. Right, and we're just trying to find the power now. Oh, here we go, things are picking up. It was a bit of a slow start. Is this it? This is it, here we go. Things are picking up for us now. It was a bit of a slow start when we saw the entrance looking a bit abandoned and then saw one ride closed. Yeah, things are picking up for us now. Gletscher Blitz. Here we go, I put my mask on. There's a coaster in here, apparently. It's, it's like thingy. Here we go. Oh. It's a launched one. Oh, this is, hang on, this is completely different to what I was expecting. Oh, maybe they've, have they changed the coaster? I, I really don't have a clue. Oh, yeah. I see, so yeah, this is a separate ride. Here we go, you got the steps just here. It's the hardest coaster to get to, but I can hear it. There it is, I can't believe it, in this building. It was actually a Mack ride powered coaster. Look at the theme in. This is crazy, Charlotte. What's even going on? Here's the station for it. What? 
<laughs> this is mad. So yeah, this opened back in 1998. The and Blitz. That looks good downstairs, That's doesn't like it? The launch oh, here we go. There's actually quite a bit of this park. I can see why they're charging more now. Here it comes. The coaster is on. Yeah, here we go. I like the look of this. Get down the front, shall we? Lovely. Powered coaster here at this park. Yeah, look at this down there. Didn't know they had one of them. Toverland, Maximus Blitz Barn. There's the maintenance shed. Got some random trees here. There's the operator. This has got to be like so random. It looks good, this though. Going down into this little tunnel down here. Dot ride, here we go. Here we go, the operator doesn't even leave his cabin. Just pull your lap bar down and off you go. Never seen a POV of this, don't have a clue. Whee. Well now we know why the building looks so big from the outside. Some good bits of feeding around. Hey, oh, big monster! Woo! Through the empty station. This is very smooth. Another little bonus vlog for you all. Here's my trip to Germany. Good. That was really well themed actually. Nice little uh, hidden gem. Well, that was a real hidden gem in my opinion. There were some good bits of theming on there. We would have benefited from some audio around, but I thought it was quite a good little ride. Three laps special as well. That was quite good, actually. Yeah, it was like the big animatronic bear as we were Ooh. going around in there. I loved it. Um, but no, what a nice little hidden gem. You look at the building, you would not expect there to be a coaster of that length in there, no, to be honest. Wouldn't. It shows like the area where we came in, the entrance and all the shop and restaurants. That's on the upper level and the coaster is built downstairs. downstairs. Charlotte's done a bit of research then. What have we got in here as well? It's like a map. Blitz farm, but I believe that it's included in the price. We're going to go and get on it. Yeah, it should be. I mean, when we first went in, we saw like a, a cash desk there, so we didn't know if that was an upcharge. I don't um, know. Shouldn't be an upcharge, really, when they're charging that much to get in. Um, but there is quite a lot here to experience, and it seems like it is free from Charlotte's research. Yeah, someone's just, just got on, so we'll go and we'll get see. on. <laughs> we'll take you along for the ride. Love it when we do these random vlogs. Love it. Here it is. Then I tell you what, theming looks quite good down here. Got a NASA astronaut there. Charlotte's just loading on. Yeah, I think so. No member of staff here. You just go. That's it. Whee! Our Charlotte goes. Love it. But yeah, the reason we thought that it might be an upcharge at first, because there's like this little booth here with some maps and stuff. But yeah, it must just be the operator. All right, let's go. Everyone to the GoPro then. Push forwards. And here we go. Launching. Get some speed up, will we now? Brings us forwards. Oh, look at this. We're going to launch now. Here we go. Woo! Oh, it's fast. Woo -hoo -hoo. I like how it's got a little light on the front. This is a little hidden gem of a park, actually. Didn't realize they had this as well. Woo! Oh, it's faster than Maximus Blitz Farm. Oh, a bit of auto brake in there. What a weird indoor section at this place. Whoa. It's a bit jolty. Woo! Oh, well, there's Charlotte down there. Way! Look at this! Woo! They're strobing. Traveling around. 
around the world visiting theme parks is all about. It's not always about the big parks, some of the smaller, off the beaten track parks. This is one of them. Auto braking, 30 meters, until we come to the exit. Really fast, here's Charlotte. Oh, brilliant that was. It's faster and longer than Maximus Blitz Barn as well. Oh, I love that. Got some more uh, fake trees down here. <laughs> oh, awesome. Did you enjoy that then? That was really good. It like in the second section, it launched me off again. <laughs> it's proper sending you off, that was. I do kind of think that maybe this part might have been pay per ride because each sort of section's got like a, a kiosk sort of booth. Yeah, it was the same. That's why we thought that was maybe yeah. an upcharge. So I'm not too sure. I think you're right. And there's another one just over here as well. I mean, maybe there's somebody watching this who knows more information. But yeah, this, this looks like a booth. Yeah, it's like a cash desk, isn't it? Out the front just here. But I think we'll go up to go and see the animals, shall we now? Yeah, okay. I think we go around this way to get on the uh, ski lift. Just here, I think it's the ski lift anyway. Around this way, it's a big arrow. I think so. Put my mask on. And we will go and have a ride on this to take us up to the top, go and see some of the animals and also the views. Mountain goats, it's mountain goats. It's time wasn't part, little hidden gem. What a location for a rapids though, like it looks incredible there. Fingers crossed we're going to be getting on it. I think we are though now, everything seems to be more open and more reliable. Rotten, look at the water shore. <laughs> the water looks horrible, doesn't it? Horrible. Here we go. So yeah, we've got this uh, toboggan ride to check out as well. It looked like the lift was going though, didn't it, at the bottom? Yeah, it did. So hopefully we can get that back down. Yeah, this is really nice. It's going to be quite a long ride, I imagine, taking us all the way up to the top in line with the lift hill there for the Alpine coaster. Oh, never mind, goats. We've got some donkeys just over here yeah, eating the grass. Oh, yeah, literally you can just walk up and down the hill here if you want to as well. Maybe that's how we get down to the big bridge, the suspension bridge that runs Hello, over. Dog. Love some donkeys just down there. Hello. Oh, it's a nice little place this is. Just thought I'd show you the awesome view the other way. So yeah, it's only a small part. You can see my car just down on the car park there. And uh, yeah, really nice scenery. Absolutely gorgeous. So peaceful as well. You can just hear that waterfall, can't you? I think we'll see any raccoons. Well, it's on the map. It showed raccoons, didn't it? I like it? raccoons. You like raccoons? I don't, yeah. I don't know. Have I seen a raccoon or not? We have. have Remember we? when we saw them at that park and I said they was going to die? Oh, the raccoons. I remember now. I'm raccoons. sure they Yeah, how can I forget that? Iconic moment. The viewers all love that. Yeah. <laughs> I just sat having a picnic there as well. I think we're getting into goat territory. I was going to say, yeah, this looks like the sort of terrain that goat... Oh, look at them there! What's that? Oh, it's a pig! It's a wild boar! Oh, there you go. Boar just down oh, there. Wow, they're blending. They're nice boars, but I don't know, they're a bit boring, aren't they? Yeah, boring boars. Boring. <laughs> oh, look at the deers just down there. Aren't they cute? Hello. You're on YouTube, theme park worldwide. Oh, they're lovely. Really nice. Oh, here we are approaching the top station. Yeah, it's good because it means that you don't always have to walk up. You know, you can just come up on this and then you can walk back down or get the toboggan ride down. Oh, these are really nice. Just that happy, enjoying the sunshine. Eating some grass, aren't you, mate? Oh, I like this one. Oh, he's really nice. What about the baby one? Oh. Just baby one. Oh. Aren't they cute? Here we go then. So we made it to the top. We've got another vegan attraction just here. The Summer Rodal Barn. Here we go. I think you just help yourself here, Charlotte. I've never done that before. Grab one and, and off you go. There you go. Bit of information for you there. Love it. It's just not staffed. You just jump on it. I think this is quite long, to be honest. When we looked at the Alpine Coaster, yeah, you just grab one. There's a chair for the operator. Grab one. And, uh, and off you go. It says run closed there, but we have just spoke to the, the member of staff and he says it's open. So, yeah, let's go for it. Come on then, operator Charlotte. That's your uh, toboggan. What's going on? So you just grab it off the lift there. Oh, a bit of manual work for Charlotte. Here you go. Oh, that's it. You're right with that. That's it. So, yeah, it is in English, the signs as well. Single bob for one person older than eight years. Now the double bob's just over there. Pop it on the track yourself. And down you go. Can you imagine this back home? Like, you have to undo it yourself and everything. What is going on? That's it. Look at this. Amazing. And just send yourself down. Hey, off it goes. Brilliant. Right, we're all loaded up here, I think. Push forwards and off we go. Woo! Just set it all up myself like on here. Hey! Woo! Oh, it's deep, this one. Oh, blimey. <laughs> Oh my god! Woo! Oh, we have 
break of it here, I think. Ah! Lean into the corner. Woo! Oh, you can easily come off this one. Whoa! Oh, I hope Charlotte's all right coming down here. It's fast. I can't believe you just set it up yourself. Woo! one of these I've ever been on. Oh, oh I nearly tipped it then. That was close. I like how it's all under cover so you can run in the rain as well without having to change the toboggans. Brilliant. Oh, I hope Charlotte's all right coming down there, though. That was really good fun. There's some great attractions here. Really good. I'm a bit concerned for Charlotte's safety. It's been a good two minutes since I came off the toboggan, and I can't find Charlotte anywhere. She hasn't come down. I can't see her anywhere at the top. Obviously, it's quite hard with the floor in here. I'm a bit concerned she might have fallen off, so I'm not too sure where she is. She's either fallen off or she's going very slow. I don't know. Well, maybe she'll... Oh, here she is! She's here! Hey. <laughs> oh, she's made it! Here we go! Charlotte, I thought you'd fell off! Yeah! Oh, here we go! I've got it! Why? It's like Bill drove Mugsley! <laughs> Bill drove... Why? What was up with you? It just won't go! Oh. <laughs> I thought you'd fallen off! It was proper going! Dig, 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 dig! Oh, to be honest, I'm just glad that you're alright, Charlotte, to be honest. Do you want to push to the end? This is ridiculous. Let's keep your push down here. Bill here we go. Woo! Through the top. There we go. Ah, so bring it down. Onto the brake run. Whee! <laughs> there we go. I had a really fast run down there. I'm just glad you're alright. Yeah, I, I was just concerned because I thought you'd fallen off. No, that's how slow I was going down the old way. <laughs> you're joking. No. Oh, I'm glad you're right. Well, I really enjoyed it. I'll show you the GoPro footage in a sec, Charlotte. I'm swinging. You'll see how fast What's that, uh, that I went. But he's really clever, like, system, this. There you go. I like how it's got the buffers there. Imagine smacking into them. But yeah, like Charlotte said, build your own uh, toboggan, build your own bobsleigh. Because obviously it folds up like that. Yeah, really interesting system. And it brings, there you go. And it folds it like that. Oh, that is German efficiency right there. Of course, Vegan do manufactured that being a German company. Oh, there you go, and it sends it back up to the top. Quite a ride. I'd like to attach the GoPro on there, actually. Can you imagine how fun that would be? Oh, yeah, that was really good. Some great attractions here, some hidden gems. Well, I thought that was really good fun. Charlotte was going slow, but I had a great ride on there. Bill drove, <laughs> Anyway, we just had another ride on the power coaster. Really snappy, that yeah, thing, isn't it? That is. Fantastic, probably one of the best power coasts I've done to be honest. Really good. All indoors, what a weird building for it. Some good bits of theming in there. And that, when you come out of the station, that drop, it probably whips you into the side. Back road, didn't we? Best ride to operate ever for that member of staff. He doesn't even have to leave the cabin, no checking the restraints or anything, just Consent off you go. It. Common sense, people, common sense. Uh, but anyway, it's just gone one o'clock, and guess what? The rapids is open. Here we go. Charlotte thought she was getting away with it, but she is to not. Be honest, though, this felt too bad. No, I think you'll be alright to be honest. I don't think you're going to get too wet. Uh, but we'll take you on with the GoPro to River Rapids coming up here at this wonderful park. Really enjoying it actually. It's a nice little place. Your carriage awaits. So should it be your Rapids boat awaits? Here we go. Look at this. Great location. Yeah, it's a vertical lift hill, but it also spins as well. Never done one like this before. Never seen it. So yeah, looking forward to this. It's only a short ride though, Charlotte. I think you'll be alright. Here we go, making our way down. Boy, oh, it makes a roar when it comes down, doesn't it? Sounds like a coaster. Proper roar in a way. It looks proper makeshift, this does, like someone's just built it in the back garden. Where's the boat? I thought I uh, heard it coming then. Oh, here it is. I don't think they're getting too wet. Oh, oh my oh, God. What? Look at that, here we go. Oh, we're not getting too wet, but I tell you what, it takes that corner with some speed, oh, doesn't it? God. Are you ready for this, Charlotte? Yeah, Look at that, intense. Let's go on. Here we go, we've got a dispatch here at Steinwazen Park. <laughs> what a day. So yeah, we're moving forward 
onto this spinning vertical lift hill. Oh, this corner here is ridiculous. Are you ready, Charlotte? Oh, I like how that comes down to stop the, uh, the boat rolling back on the lift hill. Safety measures in place and up we go. Oh, this is really scenic actually. Oh, I like that. It's smooth. Oh, right. What a location for a rapids though. Are you ready, Charlotte? Not really, no. Bar's coming up. Yep, yeah, and we're clear for dispatch. Yeah, get ready for this corner. Brace yourself with that. There we go. Guys, proper makeshift this. Backyard rapids, let alone backyard coaster. Whoa! Where's this corner? Is it this one? Oh, this one. one more corner round. Oh, you got a good spin. Oh, there we go. The boat lifts up. Hey! this corner coming up right? at the bottom. Yeah, you keep saying that with every corner. This, this one. Here. Here we go. <laughs> Into Charlotte. Oh, lovely. Oh. Oh. There what you go. Lovely rapids. Well, you didn't get wet at all. Not, not even a light sprinkle on that one, folks. Everyone's loving it. They're thinking, oh, it's a GoPro. Never seen one of them before. Steinwasen Park. What a rapids. Oh, there's an aerial view of the rapids operating down there. What a weird lift hill though, that. Never seen one quite like that before. Seen vehicle lift hills, but not spinning round like that. Very different and awesome scenery. Well, Charlotte, I think you got uh, off all right there, to be honest, got oh, off lightly. Not too bad. Not a bad rapids though, it's not okay. Really. Backyard ride. But uh, yeah, the plan now is we're heading back up to the top just here on the ski lift. And then this time, instead of getting the toboggan down, we're gonna walk down see the animals and then uh, finish off going across this big bridge down here which i think leads down into this little section down at the uh, exit of the park but yeah it's a nice place to come for a few hours pick up two credits along with some other really nice rides actually and um, that vegan indoor launch toboggan is brilliant really enjoyed that so yeah we'll see you when we get up to the top right there i'm back at the top then here now where we're walking down these steps into the wild park it's what charlotte likes she'll see the animals yeah, what a lovely little place this, really nice. I was a bit concerned when we first rocked up, I thought, oh, here we go, I think it's going to be open. But yeah, nothing to be worried about, and we've had bonus rides as well. Very good little place. So yeah, we're going to walk down this way now, onto the path, and you've got two options. You can either go left or right, but we're going to go left, um, go and see some of the donkeys up close, the boars, and then head down towards the bridge, cross over, and then we'll get to the goats. So they might be wearing coats, so we'll find out. <laughs> Love this uh, translation just here. Please close the door, please. <laughs> there we go. Let's open it up. And look at this, we've got Wicker Goat just down here. He's absolutely huge. Look at it, we are going to go to the left here, but we thought we'd just come and show you this goat up close. Oh, we got two. Look at the horns on this. Hello. Oh, wow, I don't want to get too close because it looks like an electric fence. I don't want to get too close to that, but these are nice. Look at the horns on them, Charlotte. Oh, Oh, so tame as well. But yeah, look at them horns. I don't think I've ever seen a goat with horns like that before. That's proper mountain goat. Oh, they're amazing. Beautiful. Look at them. Look at this reindeer. Oh, look at his antlers on there. Oh, they're amazing. Oh, hello. You going to come say hello? Nothing. Oh, he's nice, he is. Lovely. We'll carry on walking down this way. Gorgeous scenery coming down from here. And yeah, it shows you how crazy some of the roads are down there. Massive bendy roads. So yeah, if you are coming down in your own car or a higher car, yeah, make sure you're being really careful as you're coming down. Oh, these are lovely. I like how close they are to the path as well. It's Bambi, isn't it? Aww. Oh, we had a little sneeze then. It's very cold here. Are you a bit cold? Hello. You can buy food. Oh, compared to Europa Park, you can tell we're up in the mountains, can't you? You're a bit chilly there, Mace. Oh, adorable. Look at him. Oh, Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte. What have we got coming up? <laughs> what have we got? It's the donkey parade. Here they come. They're coming up. I feel a bit sorry for them walking up here. I know it's their own choice, though, to be fair. Oh, yeah, he's coming. He's charging at us, Charlotte. Charging. They're all coming. Oh, there they are. We were literally just saying, imagine if the donkeys come up. Hello. Oh. Oh, lovely. Oh, I thought he was coming. Are you going to let me stroke you or not? Oh, oh, he wants you. Oh, they're all surrounding Charlotte. 
There we go. Okay. No. Oh. I don't like it, Sean. Oh, oh he's going to bite, I think. No, don't. Oh, he's coming for you, Charlotte. Oh. He's coming for you. Just stay still. Oh. Stay still. He's going to bite you. Stay still. No. There we go. So you, you need to stop running off, you're scaring them. Here you are, you're scaring the donkeys. Just walk down slowly. That's it. There you go. Just gotta walk walk slowly by them. There you go. It's because we're in their territory, aren't we now? You know, that's why. You're right up there. I didn't like that. It's because we're in their territory. We got you gotta respect their their territory, you know. We're visitors walking through their area. <laughs> Surrounded by the donkeys. First it was Buster. There we go. He's charging at you! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, you've just got to respect, you know, we see that? He's I, yeah, yeah. Me. you got to think. <laughs> yeah, we've got to respect their territory. We're on their grounds now. Uh, they make the rules around here. We've just got to follow them. We've got, we've got a peacock over there. He's not going to get you. Why is the peacock in a massive, like, area like that? Seems very random. There we go. You're right there, Charlotte. <laughs> Hello. Oh, look at these. You're right there. Oh, really nice little walk down here. So peaceful. All you can hear is the waterfall down at the bottom. Hello. Oh, these are nice. You're right there. Say hello to the viewers on Theme Park Worldwide. Oh, he's thinking, what's that camera? What's that device? Oh, what a nice little smile. Charlotte will like these. She's just gone to the toilet because there's some toilets up here on this pathway. Very random. Yeah, there's like a turnstile up there just so it definitely used to be some form of paper ride part this. Oh, here she comes. Here we go. Oh, these are nice, aren't they? Oh, I like this one here. He's got a right smile about him. Gorgeous. Lovely they were. I think they're called Digams just there. Is that how we say it? I'm not too sure. Sean's quality pronunciation. But yeah, there's the main building down there with the coaster in. So you can see now from up here, and like the entrance is around the front there at the car park. And you got like this little kids area here as well with a couple of kids flat rides, like a mini boat ride and stuff there as well. And um, we'll see it closer when we head out the park. Um, but yeah, you can see now how they've got quite a bit of space to fit um, like that powered alpine coaster in there and also the powered coaster because um, I reckon they go underneath that area kind of off to the right. Very clever use of space. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Let's go for a walk along the bridge. <laughs> Did you like that? Here's the boys just down the side here. We could hear them just going <laughs> as we uh, walk along the bridge. Don't know what you're laughing at, Charlotte. It's a good impression that was. Massive bridge down here. Proper I'm a celeb vibes with this one. Look at the awesome scenery. Oh, there you go. I can hear them. Charlotte's on edge now because of her donkey experience, aren't you? I'm scared they're going to come back and eat me. Oh, don't you worry. It's four lovely donkeys. Whereabouts? Going down here. Oh, there they are. Lovely. But yeah, this bridge takes us across down here. Then we can climb down back towards the entrance and exit of the park. Really nice visit here, though. I've enjoyed it. It says on the map there's some goats over this side. So, raccoons. raccoons. Yes, can't forget the raccoons. Get a nice view of the uh, Alpine coaster. But yeah, there is another pathway down from the top as well that comes down this side. So yeah, it's a good few hours to see everything down here. Oh, this is amazing. Look at that view. You wouldn't think with that view there'd be a rapids there, would you? Look at it. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. What a spectacular little hidden gem of a park. Really pleased that we stopped off here to come and see it. And it's literally 15 minutes away from the world-class alpine coaster that we did, the Hasenhorn, Rodelbarn. So yeah, definitely come and check this out. Look at this. It's gorgeous. Oh, look at this view, guys. Absolutely phenomenal. Amazing. Like, I'm so glad we came here to see this. And once again, like with the weather we've had so far on this trip, the sun is shining. It's so like we mentioned earlier in the vlog, the next part of the trip is going to see us heading down into Paris. Um, if you haven't guessed already, we will be visiting Disneyland Paris. However, they won't be the next vlogs coming up. We're actually going to be staying at the Villages of Nature. Um, and like I said earlier on, it's the centre parks that Disney also helped um, construct and uh, put together as well. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, so we're going to be visiting the water park there, showing you our accommodation, room tour, and taking you for a full tour around the villages of nature. And then we'll be heading to Disneyland Paris for two vlogs. We've got some small little steps coming down from the suspension bridge. Worth it though. Took about five minutes to walk across there. Looking down at the awesome mountains. But yeah, you've got to be careful coming down these 
steps just here. Such an authentic German park, this one. Really impressed. Look at that, all the buildings down there as well, just nestled away in the trees. That's what I'm talking about. Can I get a from you all just here? Here we go. Got the nice pigs down here, not too smelly. Oh, this one wants to come in. Oh, he's done a poo down there. You right there, pigs? Oh, here they come. You right there? Oh! <laughs> Give us a pig impression, Charlotte. Oh my God, that was more of a ball, that one. Watch out, donkey's coming. <laughs> These are quite nice. Normally pigs stink, don't they? But Oh, look. oh, we don't want to see that, do we? I'll tell you what stunk more, though, this trip. Charlotte's Movie Park Germany poncho. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that smelt worse. Well, we've not seen any other goats down here, so I'm not too sure where they're hiding. However, we've got these big bells just here as well. There's no plaque or anything giving you any information, but they've got to be part of the history of this park or the local area. Oh, there's the raccoons. Oh, there we go. Oh, they're all asleep. Lovely raccoons. A right, bit of information for you about the raccoons. They don't have a long lifespan. Do they not? No. Oh, how long? Um, I'm not too sure, but when we went petites, they <laughs> yeah. didn't have a long lifespan, did they? No, I remember now, because what did you say? I think there was like 18, there was like the live to 18, I said they're ready to die. Aren't oh, they? that's really sad, but them raccoons just up there chilling out, some big bells. And then, yeah, I mentioned how there's a couple of little kids' rides here as well, very small canoes ride just down here and there's also a small little flat ride there as well i think it's a, is it a bunny rabbit there what bunny you, rabbit yeah ride. bunny rabbit ride yeah little canoes ride you see them quite a bit back in the uk on piers and that sort of thing and yeah that's the park yeah this little uh area just here there's a restaurant that we're going to now Lovely. though upstairs oh, just to get some uh food really before Good old maybe six to seven hour drive that we've got coming up. Look at this guy. Oh, yeah. Crocodile. Just some nice pomeds would be nice, wouldn't they? Some nice fries. Yeah. We're gonna have a look and see what we can get. But yeah, you got all this little area just here as well. Some chickens over there. Goofy. Yeah, it looks like Goofy, doesn't it? Goofy. Definitely Goofy. Knock off Disney characters. A little tree house, water area. Yeah, it's lovely. Really enjoyed it, actually. Like, it started off a bit slow. I was a bit worried, was you? Yeah, it? I was a bit concerned that things weren't going to be open. There was. And it has been worth the money. Like, there's a lot to see here. Proper animal park, the suspension bridge, the chairlift, and some other great attractions as well. But yeah, we're going to grab some fries. We'll head outside the park, and we'll wrap up this vlog from our first ever visit. It's been really nice. So we did mention back at the start of the vlog when we looked at the map that there was like a 4D cinema. Yeah, this is closed due to COVID-19 at the moment, as we can see from the signage. Not too fussed though, I'm not really a big fan of them attractions. I'm just glad we got on all the main stuff, to be honest. That's the main thing. We are back through this very weird little entrance, but yeah, it's an interesting building this. Yeah, kind of built into the side of the mountain. And obviously, you know, the coasters downstairs, Santa's sleigh over there. Yeah, very interesting place. We've certainly had our money's worth. I'm not disappointed. And the views as well, spectacular. And we got on the rapids in the end. When we came down here a couple of hours ago, Charlotte was like, it's abandoned. Hello. Well, it wasn't. We got on. Just goes to show who's done it. Don't judge a book by its cover. Well, it's come to the end of our first ever visit here to Stein Wasen Park in Germany. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was a slow start, but once we got inside, discovered it all, I've really enjoyed it. It was really cute, wasn't it? I still can't get over the fact there's a Matt Grice power coaster in that building. It was really good, that was. It was, yeah, I'd say that's probably the best ride. Uh, the Alpine coaster was good, though, as well. Yeah, it was. I think we'd have been more blown away with that if we hadn't just been on that absolutely I awesome one. the Maximus Blitz Barton style ride. Yeah, that was really good. There's some couple of rides outside and was just looking at the map they're actually new attractions as well like the bunny ride and the uh, canoe um, and it's a really nice little park i think it's fair pricing to be honest 24 euros there is quite a lot in there i'm just glad that i didn't get eaten by a donkey to oh be honest. honestly that was my highlight of the uh, the trip i think that was four donkeys terrified. all ganging up on charlotte over here on that <laughs> and also we got on the uh, rapids as well not the wettest ride but quite unique with the uh, lift on there but it's always nice when we come somewhere for the first time um for us and also for you guys the viewers perspective parts like europa park we love them but we've been lots of times now you know what to expect so it's always nice to come somewhere you don't know what new to expect. yeah definitely but uh, it's been really good if you haven't already check out the vlog we uploaded yesterday that we filmed this morning from the absolutely incredible 
um, Hasenhorn Road or Barn, 15 minutes away down the road. My advice for you would probably be, come here first, do it the other way around to what we yeah, have. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Come here first and then head to the Road or Barn. However, that does get very busy, so then maybe you are best getting there early. It's a hard one, isn't it? It's up it? to you. They're only 15 minutes away. Just be careful on these roads, folks, because they are very bendy. Anyway, we've got a long drive ahead now, but we will see you when we get down to the villages of nature at Disneyland Paris. Are you excited? So excited. Something a bit different. It'll only actually be our second ever centre parks as well. We're going to be there for three Center nights. Park. Centre parks. We love it. So uh, there we go. Thanks for joining us here from Steinwazen Park. And that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, get out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. We'll see you down in France.